One of the biggest organized crime organizations in the world is based in Ireland. A gang that has a history of several homicides, running guns, and smuggling drugs. Originally founded by a father, the company is now largely managed by his sons. The Kenahans are a serious business, so pay attention. Christopher Vincent Kenahan, sometimes known as Christy the Dapper Don Kenahan, is credited with starting it all in Dublin. The character of Christopher Kenahan is really intriguing. He was apprehended in 1986 in connection with a heroin seizure. At the time, a batch of heroin with a value of £117,000 was considered to be fairly substantial. He was ordered to spend six years in prison. You were mistaken if you assumed he would be doing nothing but counting down the days. Christie is a very intelligent man who earned two degrees while he was incarcerated. He even resisted being released early out of a desire to finish his degrees. In addition to his degrees, he also acquired Spanish and Dutch language skills. Christie is said to know five languages, which made it much simpler for him to establish contacts abroad in the criminal underground, which is exactly what he did. Christie Kenahan did not grow up in a criminal family. He consciously selected this life for himself. He attended one of Ireland's top schools and was nurtured in a middle-class family. He never returned to the straight path after his initial significant run-in with the law in the 1980s. In reality, as he began to take drug smuggling seriously because he had enormous goals, he would only get more entwined with the underground. Daniel and Christy Jr., his boys, were powerless to resist. They were almost organically merged into father's company. Currently, Christy Jr. is accused of handling the accounting while Daniel is suspected of managing the day-to-day -day activities. In recent years, Daniel came to represent the Kenahan family. Sports promoter Daniel Kenahan advertised himself as such. He started MGM in 2012 and then changed the name to MTK Global. You may be familiar with the name MGM. The MGM Grand Resort and Casino in Las Vegas could not fully understand the similarities in names, despite Daniel's MGM standing for Macklin's Jim Marbell. After a name disagreement, Daniel changed the company's name to MTK Global. He would develop it over the ensuing years into a management and event promotion firm for boxing and mixed martial arts. Even Tyson Fury, the heavyweight world champion, was once added to his roster. He tried to sports wash his image, but MTK Global will always be associated with his criminal acts, so he chose to leave the organization. He nevertheless continued to be a prominent figure in the boxing community. Even publicly, Tyson Fury expressed his gratitude to Daniel for his role in securing the agreement for the fight between Fury and Anthony Joshua in 2020. Due to Daniel's affiliation, MTK Global was unable to achieve great success and was forced to shut down operations in April 2022. It happens frequently in the underground for different gangs to be embroiled in a conflict. The Kenahan family has engaged in their fair share of conflicts, but the Hutch Gang War is unquestionably the largest one, a conflict that would escalate to the point of many lives being lost on both sides, but one in particular. The conflict began in 2015, specifically on September 24th at around 11.30 am. The Kinahan mob shoots Gary Hutch to death on the Costa del Sol. Gary Hutch is Gerard Jerry Hutch's nephew. He is also referred to as the Monk. Gerard Hutch will hereafter be referred to as the Monk for the sake of clarity. The Monk was the Hutch gang's boss and an infamous fellow. Gary Hutch, who was referred to as Daniel Kinahan's right-hand man had previously worked for the Kenahan family. They allegedly got into a financial argument, and Gary first desired Daniel's murder. When Daniel learned about this, he successfully ordered Gary's assassination. Additionally, there have been rumors that Daniel believed Gary to be an informant for the Spanish police, but this was later proven to be untrue. There would be a true conflict. Derek, Gary's brother, is attacked inside Mount Joy Prison on October 9. He ultimately escaped the attack despite the Kenahans placing a 10,000 euros bounty on his head. When things start to become extremely serious on February 5, 2016, the Hutch group retaliates. The Regency Hotel in Whitehall, Dublin, hosted the weigh-in for a WBO boxing contest. Sean McGovern was injured in the leg, and David Byrne, a Kenahan associate, 
was killed when five shooters burst into the room and began fire. Daniel Kenahan was allegedly the intended victim, but he had already departed. The year 2016 continues to be remembered as the bloodiest in the dispute after the death on February 8th of Eddie Hutch Sr., the monk's older brother, close to his Dublin home. This was seen as payback for David Burns posse. No Elking size Duggan is killed in his car on March 23rd because of his ties to the monk. But regrettably, the violence did not just occur in the criminal underground. Identities being mistaken has also led to the victimicity of innocent persons. Martin O'Rourke is killed by Kinahan's soldiers on April 14th. He wasn't connected to the conflict. Assassinating Michael Barr just 11 days later would be another case of mistaken identity. He was once more incorrectly labeled as one of the shooters in the Regency Hotel incident. Gary's cousin Gareth Hutch perishes on May 24th after being attacked close to his home. After just a month of silence, David Douglas loses his life on July 1st. Since they can't get to the monk directly, they hit everybody close to him. Just like they did to the monk's friend, Noel Kerr won on December 22nd. After the Hutch gang takes a few losses, they strike back again. Michael Kyo, a Kenahan associate, is shot in an underground car park on May 31, 2017. The Kenahan strike back by murdering Kane Kerwin, son of Noel Kerwin, on December 2, 2017. The most significant cases in the dispute have been discussed. However, there have been numerous other less significant or unsuccessful hits over this time. This is one of the final cases in the feud. The feud has claimed the lives of at least 18. The bulk of them were from the monk's side. A significant gotta crackdown has been in place since the dispute started. The Kenahan family had to go into hiding for a while after more than 70 Kenahan gang members were imprisoned in Ireland, Britain, and Spain. The Hutch gang has virtually been put an end by the Kenahans. What results from an alliance amongst the greatest drug traffickers in Europe? A powerful cartel. The Kinahan family is a part of the so-called Super Cartel, which was founded in 2018. They possessed a third of the European cocaine trade along with Ridao and Taggy, Edin G, Rafael A. Imperiali, and Richard R. This partnership was unique and impressive. These people believed they would be stronger together than competing for the top slot, which is how the top drug lords usually operate. Each one of them has their own unique skill set and set of abilities because they all worked out of Dubai. They were made larger than anyone could have imagined by bundling those. When kilos of cocaine were being dispersed around Europe, they appeared to be living extravagant lives in Dubai and spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on vehicles, jewelry, and other things. Due to the lack of extradition agreements with any nations, Dubai served as a sanctuary for criminals for many years. Therefore, criminals believed they would be secure. But during the past few years, international nations have put pressure on Dubai to act against these criminals who were fleeing at large and free to travel throughout their nation. Sadly for the crooks, this is what they did. Taggy Edinji and Imperiali were all taken into custody in Dubai. None of them foresaw it or anticipated it. Richard R. was apprehended in his native Chile. The Kenahans are now the only remaining members of the mega cartel. Daniel, Christie Sr., and Christie Jr. are wanted as of April 2022. For information that results in the gang leaders' arrests or the group's financial disruption, a reward of up to $5 million is offered. The Irish National Police Force, known as Gadi, claimed that after the leaders' heads were threatened with a reward, they got a vast amount of intelligence from criminal sources both inside and outside of Ireland. They continued by saying that strategies are developing, the scope of the investigation is expanding, and the Kenahans are increasingly in the spotlight. What do you think? Do the Gotti genuinely have people talking because of the prize, or are they just bluffing to play mind games with the Kenahans? Let us know in the comments. Do not forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Until next time.